move up. Yeah. So much space. We need to get a parking space here first, okay? Yeah. Because I want to show you those murals. Right. Yeah. It's been proven time and time again. If you give people a decent, a decent house to live in, a decent opportunity to earn a wage, none of this would have happened. To what we call the troubles. It got so bad in Northern Ireland in '69 that we had to introduce the British Army onto the streets of Belfast. And actually, 50 years today, as the 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 the, 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 the troops come in 50 years ago. Oh wow! They were sent in ironically to protect Catholics. Um, Catholics were vastly outnumbered back then, sort of four to one. That sort of ratio, 25% Catholic, 75% Protestant. Uh, Northern Ireland is in a unique situation where it's part of Britain, although divided by a stretch of water. It belongs to the island of Ireland. Britain has conquered that area, they own it. So along with Scotland, Wales and England, Northern Ireland is a part of the UK. Many Protestants that live here believe themselves to be British. Many Catholics believe themselves to be Irish, and this is the problem here, okay? Yeah. What's led to so many deaths was unbelievable. A period of time that I never want to go back to. There was a lot of, of arrests during this period. A lot of young Catholic men, young Protestant men were arrested, put into prison. Catholics had five demands. Republican prisoners had five demands. The first demand was to be known as uh, political prisoners, not ordinary criminals. The second demand was to be known as to, to, to wear their own clothing rather than prison uniform to distinguish between the two. Third demand was they didn't want to take part in any prison work. Fourth demand was to receive parcels and visits from their families and friends and freely associate with every other prisoner. And their fifth demand was to not loss any remission. Remission is a lesser sentence you build up. 1979, Margaret Thatcher became Prime Minister of England. Of the UK. Taking over from Edward Lee. Other people are saying that there's no coming together of the two parties. What hope is there for the rest of the people? Two and a half years they've been out of government, sitting on their asses. They closed the area off one day, assuming there would be weapons in the area. Searched the houses and uncovered this piece of weapons. On display. Here is here. Because they cleverly incorporated from the small bit of the Having an offer. 
restoration. Absolutely stunning building inside and out. Mm -hmm. You can see all these houses are quite new. I'm going to take you into Bombay Street, where in 1969, 87 Catholic houses were burnt during rioting. They've made a, a memorial garden here for those members of the Clonard area who were involved in the troubles. two sides of the peace wall. This side's been given to graffiti artists who are allowed to do what graffiti artists do as long as they don't put anything offensive on the wall. This gives you a better sheer view of it because it's one run. Yeah. 17 meters high and over half a mile long. On the right hand side, places in the world where there's been trouble. Israel, Palestine, Shankill Road, Falls Road, Nicosia, Baghdad and Berlin. Below we have security, separation. Hi. We said it was back out there again. These parts of the wall, the irony is, he's fucking writing and that, that's only up. Grace the fucking writing. 